here with Cameron, and he actually found this little thread snake. We're just walking on a trail, and you can kind of see from the mix of the battery, it's a AAA battery, how big he is. Oh, and strong. He's pulling a whole battery. <laughs> <laughs> he's working out. And now he's under the camera here. shine to him. So uncoordinated. And we're getting eaten up by bugs. Mm -hmm. Worse than Florida. Yes, the bugs are in San Diego are worse than Florida. You can't even climb a little hill. These little southwestern thread snakes are native to San Diego, but look very similar to the non-native Brahmini blind snake that I did a video on last year in 2019. In fact, it can be almost impossible to tell the difference without recognizing very small details. There's a chart on CaliforniaHerps.com that shows how to distinguish the different thread snakes. These very tiny snakes are nocturnal and come out to feed on mostly ants, termites, and their larvae. And they can be found in areas where soil is suitable for burrowing. The spot that we seem to find them the most on is a brushy mountain slope that has areas of soft soil. All right, oh, there we go. <coughs> Second thread snake of the night, and this is a bigger one. So here's my hand next to him. That's, what, five times the size of the other one? Yeah, he's about seven oh, inches. Oh, and he fell down. And just about as clumsy as the other one. These little snakes don't have much of a defense unless you are an ant or a termite. They release a smelly musk like most snakes do that usually deter smaller animals. The only other defense this snake has is its elusiveness in which it wriggles around a lot, but nonetheless a very cool find. Alright, so we are here at the flume and I uh, haven't seen any snakes or anything but lots of lizard activity and actually caught a little uh, granite spiny lizard which these guys can be tough to catch. Uh, we've caught a couple of them before, but it's just a little guy. He was actually in, uh, inside the, uh, what do you want to call it, the tunnel, I guess. I'll show you. It's going your way fast. All right. Oh, I see him. I see him. Grain of spiny lizard coming your way. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, got him there. Still there. Grain of spiny lizard. Using the tunnel as a hideout. Got him there. Got him. Oh, <laughs> sorry, dude. <laughs> Woo! All right. Should I let him go? Oh, here you go. He's gone. The granite spiny lizard is found in Southern California and is one of the larger lizards in Southern California as it can get close to a foot in length if you include the tail. These diurnal lizards love to bask on granite boulders, which is probably how it got its name. They are very, very good climbers. Their diet consists of insects, small lizards, and even flowers. Males have blue on their throat and their belly and can sometimes be confused as fence lizards or blue bellies. As an adult, if captured, they can deliver a pretty good bite. you Ryan. <laughs> it's all you. You had ticks on you. I got alligators on me. Don't show Emily this video. She doesn't want to know you had ticks on you. <laughs> Where is he here? He's gonna bite you. <laughs> he likes Whoa, you. At, hey buddy. He, he likes you. Go buddy go. Woo. Man he's pretty cool isn't he? Look at that. Oh is he gonna <laughs> bite you? That gold he's got. got woo. <laughs> This is an arboreal alligator lizard, <laughs> yeah. all the way down from Mexico. There's different colors here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll eat the ticks off my backpack. <laughs> he's a parrot. 